Hello everyone and welcome back. It is a little busy on my street right now. As I always, I always apologize for the noise. It's early in the morning. I guess I said that in almost all of my videos, but this is the only time that I have to be on here and I'll make sure that I will keep giving you guys an update on how things are going in the garden. So it's been very busy, but for me I've been a little busy with work, so I haven't been out in the garden as much as I wanted, or I want to, or I enjoy to. And I'm in New York City, and I think most of you know that we had a really bad storm last week. It hit New York really hard and it had a lot of damage, but the garden survived. And thankfully I live in a slightly elevated area in Queens, so my street didn't get too bad, but I had a few neighbors that had a hard time. It's really busy now, it's not even 8 a.m., but um, I guess with the school back, the school is back in New York too, so I guess it's a very good school bus. Alright, so I'm not going to be talking too much. Let's just shorten this up. Just want to let you know what I'm doing today. I'm going to be clearing up some of my vines that are looking at the span, and also the ones that are are not looking so bad. My squash, my zucchini vines are looking beautiful. There's some female flowers in there, but I do need to make space for some of my fall crops if I want to have a fall garden. And I'm craving fresh lettuce and sweet kale, so I'm going to and some carrots and beets and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare that now. Make the hard decision and taking them down. Sorry, not another bus is stopped by. It's funny that I was looking back into my videos and I noticed that I. Apologize for not almost every time. <laughs> I tried to use a different microphone, the one that I have in here. It didn't really work for me, but I'll try again, see if that gets better in the next videos. Unfortunately, I have no control of this right now. It's even if I try to come here super early. I put the pink cream stock back up again. The brown one, I kind of left it too down, and I will show you guys why. It's a pretty cool thing that's happening over there. So let's get started. I'm right here with the seedlings. They are growing not as fast as I imagined, but the lettuce is starting to looking good. The broccoli might be too late, but I'm gonna try to do it anyways. And then cabbage, little kale here. Kale, it's okay because it can hold really cold temperatures, and I harvest the leaves anyways mostly. Here's a green stock that I put together the other day. I planted a new few new things. This is a purple lady bok choy. I planted some seed, and they're all germinating. Some cilantro. So I'll splash like this because rain last night. This is lemon balm that I have to trim one more time and this basil too. I'm actually going to try to make a basil oil with it. I'm just going to clean the shives. These are doing good too. They have grown a lot since when I... I think I showed this in the last garden, on the last video. They were just sittings. Now they're much bigger. We're going to start grabbing on these too. Just repurposing a tomato trellis. So I'm open here, not growing so fast, but this one is looking great. It's in a big pot, there's only two in here, and there's some okra growing here. I planted them a little bit later, and this is already starting to get cool. But I think I'll be able to get a few okras from it. And the basil. It's all went to flower, it's starting to die back, which is great because I'm going to collect seeds from that Greek basil over there. Sorry about the trash in the back. But this is my green trellis, and I have some beans to harvest. So today I'm going to be harvesting too, after I just quickly show around how things are looking. Have a nice morning sun. Here's the pink green stock. The lavender really grew a lot the past week, so I gotta harvest some of these beauties, some of these flowers too, to brighten them up. And peppers is still doing okay. The green stock, some other peppers I have to harvest here. Shishiro, oops, I missed it in torn red. And I have some malagueta, some Brazilian peppers. They're ready to harvest. The garden is doing a big harvest today. I've already noticed that I missed a few things. This okra is overgrown again. We have really big cucumber there. So this is the vine that I'm going to take on today. I'm going to take out this squash and see then what I'm going to do on those raised beds over there. See what I'm going to do with that one. I have some beautiful zinnias blooming here. The kale is doing really good now too. And I harvested a bunch of tomatillo the other day to make salsa. I haven't had a chance to make them yet, but I'll try to do it to make the salsa this week. There's some poblanos in there. They are getting bigger. It's very nice. And this guy thinks the poblano too is starting to set free. I'll harvest them 
soon, depending on the culture. But oh, there's a lot more here. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's a good surprise. Great. It's a little hard to get in there, so I'm sure we'll find a lot of cool things when I have a chance. I need to start pruning. Try to do that. Not sure if I'll do it today, but it would be great if I could do that too. And then this beautiful Alaska nasturtium that's coming back to life. It's kind of looking a little sad a few weeks back, but now it just picked back up and it's beautiful. The eggplant on the green stalk, this is the brown green stalk. The eggplant's full of flowers. Um, this is the Rosa Bianca. This is growing the green stalk here in the second tier. This is the bee doing its work there. And some already have set fruit. It's starting to set fruit. This one, that one. So I'm excited to see how many I can get. I already have a few, but I didn't have this many blossom setting at once like it is now. And the reason why I didn't put that piece back up is because I noticed that I have this caterpillar in there and I didn't want to disturb it too much using the carrot flower. I showed I had them before a little early in the season and they are the swallowtail caterpillars to the beautiful butterflies and I've seen that some of them flying around here the butterflies so I'm happy they set some eggs and now we have some more caterpillars here too and I don't wanna I wanted to complete its life so I will leave it in there I don't disturb it too much so I don't wanna pick this up and put it back out there this other green stock I also planted still some seeds in here. There's some weeds growing, I gotta pick it up. But um, there's some bok choy and some, I think it's bok choy too. It's already germinating. You can see that the caterpillar was here before because my carrot has no leaves, but it's fine. I It will just grow back, but I'm not gonna harvest that carrot before yet. There's some carrot here that I don't see in caterpillars, but I'm gonna take this because it's really overgrown. And there's plenty of food if you want to, that one wants to move. There's some more carrots in here. And I also, oh, I can't just remembered. Yes, I thought I seen some of my parsley. But there's two guys in my parsley too, which I'll also leave them two in there. But and that's it. This is how the garden is looking. Looks much better once the green stalks are up. If you remember from last video, I couldn't even walk in here because everything was down, so I had spots everywhere because of the storm. So now everything is kind of back in place, almost just to stood there, but then it's like, looks much nicer. I have to take down that big sunflower too that I already have is the, the head, but I didn't have a chance. It's really thick, so I didn't have a chance to actually take the stem, the rest of the plant out. I'm going to try to do it today. Okay, one more thing. Just pull my peppers. Look how many peppers I still have here. I'm gonna harvest them all today to make more hot sauce. The first batch of hot sauce that I made we ever eat at all. And here, unfortunately, look what happened to my squash. The squirrels are having a feast here. This is my honey nut. And I have already harvested the purple. This is from this is my Jester Delicata. Also got attacked. I have two more. I just got a few, like a little nibbles, and I don't know if I should eat them or not. Um, I have to double check here. I don't want to get sick, but also, man, just so sad that I have to waste this. And there's another honey nut squash there that's already turning orange, so we're ready to pick soon. I'm gonna try to cover that one so the squirrels don't eat it, also. And there's one more on this side. That's very small, but also turning, getting mature. And I have one that's just setting fruit right now on that vine as well. Okay, so I'm gonna harvest this more peppers first. And I just wanna show you guys this, and it's not relevant to my channel, but I just made this basket. I went to a class in Vermont, actually, and I learned how to make this. I handmade this, and our teacher is actually harvested the materials for the wood and we had to cut I mean, you can see mine's not very good it's my first one so it's a little it's not super even but i it was pretty cute so i'm gonna use it right now to put my peppers in okay so the basket's really deep but i got a few peppers here and i'm going to keep putting other peppers in from what I'm harvesting. This one, I'm gonna get this bigger one to harvest the other stuff. I have to, and I'm gonna harvest some herbs, so I didn't think I mentioned this, but I'm gonna make some basil oil and some herb oil. Perfect. 
cucumber and then the over one more crack plus all the little peppers and I'm going to now take that crack fine down so I can reach the back of the waste beds. I see a few female flowers in here and actually they are also edible so are the buds so I'm gonna cut them and the male flowers too and I'm gonna add that to my harvest basket and make sure that I'm also eating that even though they haven't opened yet I got some of this nice female flowers here to show you guys okay, First, I'll let you guys know the difference between the other things. Oh, I see some cucumber beetles in here. Those are not good. I'm gonna kill it. This vine was so nice. It did get very vine borer damaged. All right, so real quick here, it's just this is a female flower. It has a fruit on the bottom, and this is a male flower, which is just a stem and the flower so they're both green up because they haven't opened yet a lot of my hair a lot of you probably youtubers talk about this in early spring or when they're doing hand pollination i didn't have a chance it was a little busy for me but better later than ever so if you don't, didn't know yet this is a female flower male flower they need to be uh, pollen from this guy needs to come in here in order to for this to actually set fruit but this is also edible so fine dining restaurants you can find this in there so I'm taking this I'm gonna eat it as well we got two more female plants and a couple of that I'm just gonna go to my little basket also if you're curious this is how squat, uh, vine border damage looks like you see how this um, the base of this stem has this Holes, this like uh, I don't want to say holes, but yeah, you know it's lit. The vine borers definitely lived in here and did some damage, but the plant was able to still live on and produce. Because oh, there's more. All right, I, I will take care of this after the video, but produce this nice um, vine. But it did definitely slow down the production. I can see I saw another vine, a cucumber beetle there, so that's probably why. It slowed down. It was not producing as much as it should too. Okay, so here is a down to vine. We're gonna take that other one out too, I think. See also the all the vine borer damage. I we had enough zucchini and I'm ready for transition, so we're gonna take care of that too. Now this pepper that didn't show before it's hidden by the vine. We'll have more chance to grow some more eggplant in here. This I don't really like to Cut the vines when the flowers are opening, but probably that's gonna happen. Let this be feast in the squall in there, then I'll cut it later in the day. And then now it's basil, and I'm taking care of this cucumber that it looks like it's getting some damage too. Some takes a bug damage, I don't really know. Things are really crowded, so I need to now that took that big plant there, it's easier for me to get through. Oh, look what I found another. Caterpillar. Oh, they're everywhere. Eating my carrots in the bed. And also, I scattered some seeds in here because I was traveling so much. I was so busy. I was afraid I was not going to have time to transplant everything. So, I scattered some carrots, carrot seeds. As you can see, I think some seed lunch or two. And as you can see, this very skinny eggplants now in the late, late in the season. But let's see if they will get longer. The first ones are really good. And that's it, that's how it looks in here, we'll keep working. Now we're gonna take down this big sunflower. If I can, I don't bring a knife with me. But I'll see what I can do. If not, I'll take it after the video. Mostly I just wanted to clean this, and now I have time to also take out all these plants, these leaves that are not doing good, and let the garden breed for a little bit. Found the squash. I didn't see that in there, it's a little green. Well, that's gonna go to the harvest basket too. This is supposed to be a patty panny yellow squash, but it's in the early stages. Still be okay. It'll be nice and tender, small. And I'll take another one. This is how the female flowers look on that one. Once they're, this are already open, this probably have been pollinated. And, but we're gonna eat this too. 
I will go over the rest of the stuff after this video, otherwise it's going to just take too long. Okay, some days or two, just clear up the bed a bit. I found something cool, I'm going to take the camera back one more time. Uh, I have this jalapenos in here. Forgot I had that leak. See, it's funny when you come on, overcrowded beds. But there's a bunch of little jalapenos in this plant behind. They're not as big as the store jalapenos that we usually buy. I think that one's kind of like the, the, after that. There's a name for the giant ones, the really big ones. But that's full of peppers, so since I just harvested so much peppers, I'll see if I can leave them in there for a little bit more. But this basil also has to be cleaned. I just trimmed this one. Look what I find in this vine. Another honey that's squashed. This is a female flower too. I don't know if that would go, but I'm gonna leave it in there. That was really cute. And I had this upside down tomato cage here to become a pea trellis, but I sold some pea seeds and I think because I didn't take the squash out, it just died. I'm gonna try to sow another round. Hopefully it's not too late. And I wanted to have some peas climbing up here. The peas on that side, some of them are climbing. They're weak though. But we will have some just for. I just think the vines are really beautiful. If I don't get peas, even if I don't get peas, I'm going to be happy. Okay, it's starting to look a little nicer. More space here now. And I need to still go tackle that August other side. Move some things around. This marigold here. Kind of was trying to get out from this squash shade, but it's doing okay. Oh, this is dead. This is a dried flower. This so let me get some seeds from this so you can actually see how very good seeds look like. I'm gonna collect it now. Here's the head. It's a, it's a dead flower head, so it's not as dried yet. Could be drier, but it's already um, to a point that you can take seeds. See, you just need to open. All of these little marigold seeds are inside. How cool is that? So if you can just collect those. If you have planted marigold before, you know that your seed looked like this when you planted. Now, from one flower, you can have all of these new seeds. I can feel that they're still a little moist. So if you feel that too, make sure you let them dry before you put them away. Otherwise, if you store them like this in the plastic, per se, they will most likely get molded. It just happened to my sunflower, the big sunflower head seeds, which I had promised to give to some people, but unfortunately they just got molded. So learn my lesson. So wait until it gets really dry, and I, I probably put it in a paper bag now. I always prefer paper bag, but someone told me to put it in a plastic bag so it gets wet from outside, it protects more, but then it didn't absorb the rest of the moisture. Anyways, pros and cons to both. So those are the marigold seeds oh, just fell. that I'll dry out and save to plant it next year. I'm gonna actually end this video here with this beautiful morning light that just starts shining. Um, I looked at the time and unfortunately I have to go. And this is what I harvested so far. There's more to be done, but I need to get going unfortunately and I have And I also have my peppers. I don't look that much in this deep basket, but there's a lot of peppers in here. So I'm gonna take a picture of this later, as I usually do, and post on my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, make sure to give me a follow. I'm gonna put it right over here on the screen. Also, if you go to the description box, you can just click on the link there and take you straight to my page. I hope you enjoyed this little quick garden prep tour. It was a little short, but at least you can see how the garden is looking now with the, my vertical planters back up. And I hope to find some time to do another video very soon while I am planting my fall crops in the ground. I'm gonna just transfer some of those, not today because I don't have time, but some of those lettuces and things are growing on that little thing that I showed in, in the, the cells I showed in the beginning of the video to the raised bed here somewhere. And I'm gonna, through this week, keep cleaning up, harvesting some herbs. I'm gonna dry some of them, some of them make some oil. Also, it's infused herb oil. Now, so I'm gonna try to be making some tinctures and some herb salts. So, that's the plan for the week. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.